YouTube, what's up fam? SGK23 TV Network, the network, back in the building. I'm sure you guys see the title, so I'm going to get right to it. But as always, before I get started, PAB to everybody, peace and blessings. Hope everybody's doing well. And as always, keep it a buck, man, especially with yourself. You heard me? Hashtag, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. You guys see what it is. Um, it took me a little bit of delay because I had some some complications, you know what I'm saying? But I'll talk about that because um, the podcast in the studio is pretty much 99.9% finished. I just got to get the rest of the boxes out of here. But uh, let's get to these right here. You guys know what they are. Blam, blam, right? Let's do the shoes real quick so you guys can get a look at them. So back in the days... I would order um, direct from the Nike factory, right? Quote, unquote. Uh, not in bulk, per se, but like 10 pairs or 20 pairs. And what I would get from them uh, would be this right here. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it without um, too much information. This is the, the slip that you would get um, if you had a contract, uh, an account, so on and so on. You would have your terminal number, the transaction type, sale, which I'm not going to show that. The car type, obviously Jordan, your merchant account. Okay, the app code, that don't matter for this one. The reference, the batch number. This is where my signature would go, so on and so on. A1, QR code, scan it, pops up, what should pop up. Everything exactly how it was back in the days. So you guys know the UA situation and all that and what's been, what's been going on and how good they have gotten and so on and so on. So I ran into a, a plug or been contacted, I guess you could say, um, in regards to, look, I'm going to break it down how it works for you so you can understand, and I'm going to send you the product so you can see the difference. Mind you, had these shoes already, sold them on StockX, made like 1300 number one. Uh, so I was like, all right, UA situation like always. You guys seen me do the Travis Scott SBs, uh, the custom expensive, expensive ones versus the real authentic USA retail joints versus the more affordable ones. Uh, you guys seen me uh, do PK God. You guys seen me do these, which um, they wanted to take them at the consignment shop. And I was like, these are quote unquote what we call UAs or 98, 99 percenters. And you guys know me because you guys see me do videos and told you guys, I forgot which shoes they were. Uh, told you guys, these are not even 80 percent, 85 percenters. So you guys know I keep it a book with y'all every day, all the time. So they were like, this is how this this is how this situation works, right? We manufacture at the Nike Jordan brand, quote unquote, factory. And if we get a chance to this is when it becomes unauthorized because you have numbers, right, that go along um with the kicks, with the corporations, with the companies, with the LLCs that have accounts to sell the kicks at retail, right? So what happens is you have these numbers, and when that number hits, that's it. There's no more being sent to be sold. So anything after that becomes, quote-unquote, UA, unauthorized to be sold in said country as retail. In this case, we're going to say United States, USA retail. So they become UAs, unauthorized, replicas, fakes, so on and so on. But ain't nothing fake about the shoe. I will not pay resale for the same shoe that I have right here right now. And I will do a review, but I wanted to give you guys that information and how they explained it to me. So how they explained it was basically when the number cuts off and all that paperwork, the computer stuff that's going out to, going out to us in the U.S., what we would do is, this is not verbatim, but... What we would do is um, we would stay 
and manufacture another 200, 500, 600, sometimes even 1,000, 2,000 more batches of the sneakers in the same uh, factory with the same products, with the same materials, the same components, assembled the same way, the whole nine. Here goes kind of like a parallel, uh, pa uh, parallel um, reference. It's kind of like a duplicate Rolex. Instead of paying sixty thousand, you pay like eight, nine thousand. It's solid gold. It's got the same components, the same material. It's a certified chronometer, uh, so on and so on, right? But that's really not the same thing as this, but similar because that's. 9,000 versus 60. This is basically the same thing. In this case, it is the same thing. There is no difference. So they would stay. I don't know what the policies are on that. If you would get fired or if you're allowed or not allowed. That's not for me to say. This video is for educational purposes and bringing you guys um, options and plugs and Telling you guys, you know, what's going on and, and so on and so on. You feel me? So, that would stay and manufacture extra batches that would be unauthorized to be shipped out to the United States for retail sale at retail companies or corporations that sell Nike Jordan brand. Bam. That was the story. So on and so on. FaceTime. Fo on the phone. Photos. Videos. Whatever, whatever, whatever. This might be just a regular type of situation. These are 99.9%ers, .9 percenters, if not a hundred, as far as me. Again, mind you, I had the shoes. I saw them on StockX, May 1300. Let's do the box real quick. So you guys, um, you know, we can just do it official. So we got the women's Air Jordan 4 Retro SBs. Hold on. Sale Muslim white black 11 and a half in women's, which is a size 10 in men's. There is your barcode, there is your QR code, there is your retail at $200. Scan the barcode, scan the QR code. What pops up is exactly what should pop up, exactly what popped up with the other USA retail ones. You feel me? Uh, box. Nothing uh, different. Even kind of like the batches um, with the plastic over the ring. Just so you guys can see. It might be a little lengthy, but I want to make sure. Hold on. Let me just make sure because it, it ain't for play. So you guys can see like papers on point. Yeah, this is basically a, a goat thing. Don't worry about that. So there's the, here goes the, you know, your off-white for these. Joint. Gucci. There's your green jump off tag. Blam, blam, blam. I don't know what this is. No, that's nothing. Back of the box, everything the same. Pretty, pretty impressed uh, with how they do things. Um, we're not gonna worry about this stuff, but <laughs> they crazy. You feel me? They crazy twenty three. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna put the shoes right there. Hold on. So I kind of gave you the story in the background on how. They say this situation works. Well, they can say whatever they want, but when you get the product in hand, that's when things uh, become a little different. Feel me? So, here you go. Um, things to look for that I was impressed uh, was like the frailing. So, you know, toe cap, toe box, that's the wave. That's the wave. So the translucent on point, the writing on point. Um, things I look for when they talk like this. 
is the stitching. Especially the double stitching. You got your off-white, you know, that plastic cover type of jump off. The frailing, right? But not only the frailing, the stitching that goes under and, and it kind of makes it a little flap that goes out this way. If you guys can see. Again, the stitching, the on feet afterwards, you can see it, put them on already. Um, you have your, your teal aqua, blam blam, your white, you have the translucent, right? That goes through here. So another thing, where the, where the satin finish is supposed to go is on point. Where the high gloss finish goes is on point. Where the matte finish goes is on point. Another thing I look for, uh, the stars on the pivot point, the stitching on the translucent mid. Okay, again, the finishes, the finishes, the air with the blue, uh, with the light, whatever you guys want to call it, the white, the towers, these lines right here. Again, these are minor things that most people wouldn't like. What? What are you talking about? But we are trying to assess this whole jump off. Um, the Nike Air, the cutoff on the back, pull tab, the stitching, the leather, like that Bachetta type of feel, the stitching or the holes around the top. I know it's only maybe a millimeter, three quarters of a millimeter, but that makes a big difference when you're dealing with quote unquote fake UAs and USA replicas. Um, auto laces, obviously, right here. Blam, blam. Shoelaces. The tongue is on point. Another thing that I'm looking for um, the jump man. Right, flight with that off white jump off, but again with the frailing, looking looking for those strings, looking for that stitching with 3.5 millimeters from the stitching to the top of the tongue. I did my research. Obviously the foam exposed and it's three layers. I'll show you what I'm talking about, three layers. The Air Jordan on the back, the stitching, the quality. I mean, hey. Uh, the three layers, what am I talking about? I'm talking about right here, right, blam, right here, right here, one, then stitched, then to the foam, and then to your guts, the sock liner of the kicks. That three jump off. The blue, the bottom, the stitching, even down there. Again, just like when I used to order, if you, if you think 20 is bulk, then we could just call it bulk. Bam, like that. It's there. Um, the straps. I don't want to waste too much time, but again, uh, all the QR codes go and show what they're supposed to show. Dates, all that. Um, on point. Nike Air, footbed. Gucci, back is Gucci. Um... So, with stuff like this available, and I'm being shown that it's the same, I'm not, I understand what Rob's been talking about. The air, see-through, jump man, right? Blam, blam. Now, there's a thing on the off-whites, if I can get it. Um, so, there's some green on this side. I think with the UV light, I might have been able to get it or with the other phone. Let me see. Right there. See that green? Right there. Just like the Authentics or quote-unquote USA Retail. The air, the towers. Um, your off-white tag. Um, it's exactly the same as the ones I sold. 
I'm gonna brighten this video up um, so you might not get exactly um, the color of everything how it should be you'll be able to probably tell what my skin tone it'll probably be lightened up like three times just because I can tell that this phone because my other phone was broken not by me but we'll talk about that um it's not really shooting how it should this is like a iPhone 8 or something um the colors the assembly the fit how they look Again, where the high gloss, where the satin, where the mat is supposed to go, the stitching, where it should be, the fit, um, certain things, the weight. I mean, uh, call it what you want, but you guys know I kept it a buck with y'all. Like, yo, these not even 80%. I don't know what you're talking about. These is trash. Oh, I'm talking about these. I got them all. Like, yeah, they cool, but these are not 98, 99%ers. They're beautiful shoes. These are 900% the same thing. Uh, you got your pearl beads on the hang tag. Uh, that don't fade off or nothing. I would put alcohol on them to try to see if they would, you know, show some sort of um, cheap alloy, brass, anything like that. Nope. Um, again, the stitching, I don't want to make the video too long, but the frailing is very important. The front, um, the front stitching is not straight. It kind of zigzags up and goes back down. It kind of goes around the formation of the toe cap or the toe box, toe cap of the sneaker, the off-white materials, the frailing, the spacing between that frailing and the white. I don't know, you know, type of plastic that they use, and then the one that goes over it. Everything is the same. Everything is exactly the same, and somebody paid thirteen hundred dollars for these uh, box price shipped, two hundred dollars. Bam, feel me? And if they can get me any, you know, of my kicks, whatever. I've been heavy on LeBron, as you guys can see. Putting LeBron together like crazy. Check out that video. These will be dope. Um, if they can get me joints like this at retail, or a little bit over retail, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we're going to charge you 50 resale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm okay with it. Say what you want. Um, you can say, hey, man, those... You're not going to be able to say nothing. You feel me? Again, I, a lot of joints, they do this. But they don't do it how this is done. This is done with my card, with my name, with my account, so on and so on. This is how I used to... These, This is the same slips and another one that I used to get when I used to order direct. More than one pair of, of kicks under an account. You feel me? So, I did this for y'all. Uh, I did this for me, but I wanted to share it with you guys and give you guys the plug as well. I'm not going to hold it um, for myself. I don't want you guys to overpay when you don't have to. Don't be bamboozled no more. This says not 1997. You feel me? Don't be bamboozled when you're dealing with the same materials, the same leathers, the same suede, the same plastics, the same polyurethanes. The same glue, assembled the same way, true to size, so on and so on. Don't be fooled and overpay when it's the same thing. Why would you do that? Some people need to snap off and get unplugged. You know what I'm saying? Some can do what they want. I'm still going to pay resale for some things, but if I can get like this, I'm not going to be paying resale for a lot of things. Resell for, you know, you know what I'm saying? $300 kicks for maybe 480 510 I get that. Feel me? But I'm not paying $3,000, $3,500, um, $1,500, $900, 1200 for shoes that I can get pretty much at retail. And they are exactly the same. 
If they were not exactly the same, then I would tell you, like I told you, these are not even 80 percenters. You feel me? Check out the video. A lot of people love them. Like, yo, they're great shoes, great quality. But as far as USA retail, these are not even 80 percenters to me. You feel me? This right here, pretty much 100% the same. I had the kicks. I sold them again. I don't want to be redundant. I just wanted to share this with y'all. And share the plug to connect with y'all if I can. So I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna put you guys up on game and give you guys the plug. And you guys decide and let me know. And I'll be doing some comparisons to some hype with the same type of situation with this Nike Factory Connect. Alright, as always, PAB, peace and blessings to everybody. Be safe, do what you gotta do, and stay tuned because your boy's back. Stay tuned for the motorcycle videos. That Ninja right now is crazy. We just got the engine done. Um, it's about uh, 68 or 71 horses. We added about 30, whatever. I'll get to the video. Bam. Off-white, Jordan 4s, the Muslim joints, the women's, 11 and a half in women's, makes a size 10 in men's. Stay tuned on foot right now. Peace. 100.